Hey everyone, it's Evangeline, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Titan Chain Diamond HD Snow Tire Chains, and I'll also show you how to install them here on our 2024 Chevrolet Silverado 2500. These tire chains are going to be the heavy duty version of the Titan Chain Diamond Alloy Snow Chains, so that means they're going to have larger links for more traction which is awesome, except you do have to be very careful about which type of tire and wheel you have on your Silverado 2500 because there are brake components and suspension components back there that may not give you much clearance to work with. So double check yours. Our tire size today is 275-65R20 which is the one with limited clearance, but it also depends on the truck. So if you have a different tire size, you may have better chances with those. Now, these are gonna be good for emergencies as well because they're gonna be a very quick and easy install. You don't have to drive forward or backward to get these installed. You can do it while you're parked. But the first thing you need to do is to lay out your chains and just make sure it's not tangled up. Some things you, like to, you may need to look out for is I like to follow this long continuous yellow line and that's how I know I don't have any twists or tangles. Another thing I look for is the hook. You want the flat part facing your tire and the hook part away from your tire. In our case, flat part goes up, hook part goes on the floor. So with that in all looking all good, we're gonna grab half of our chain and we're going to throw this around the back of the tire. I'm going to leave this side looking good. Then we're going to grab this other side. And then we're going to comb it out to, again, make sure that nothing flipped around while we were moving it around. There we go. That was a good catch right there. We have that long continuous yellow line, so we're good to go again. Now, to make that first connection, what I do is I bring my thumb underneath the chain and I hold the hoop with the rest of my hand. Doing that on the other side, this makes it a little bit easier for me to attach our chain. So get that connection together, pull tight to make sure it's seated, and keeping your thumb onto the chain and the rest of the hand you can then bring the rest of the chain forward to your second connection. So green hook goes into yellow link, then continue adjusting the chain. With these being the heavy duty chain, they're definitely gonna be a bit heavier compared to the normal diamond, diamond alloy chain. So it might take a little bit of muscle. So we're gonna, then going to get this long gray chain fit it into that red hook. And that's what we use to pull up against to get as much tension in our chains as possible. Now we do have a lot of excess loop here. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to feed this rubber uh, link through our different adjusters. There we go. And that will help shorten the chain. Now we want to put this the furthest it can go. In our case, straight across the tire and hook it with a hook facing out. Now I usually prefer not to go over that hub. You can hear that it does make contact. So as you drive, this will scratch up that plastic hub cap. I do recommend taking it off if possible or you could wrap your chain with some rubber and that may help protect it from scratching it. But other than that, that's gonna be the install process. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Then you're gonna roll forward or roll back a couple feet. Double check that everything still looks good and is in place. And then that's gonna be it for your install process. The way this chain works is you do have that diamond pattern allowing for more coverage on the tire compared to your regular ladder style chains. You're gonna have some large links here. So that is something that's gonna help out since they have that 
flat edge, with these being square links, those flat edges will bite into the ice. And since the links are twisted together, that will help preventing snow from clumping up. They fit pretty well within the treads of your tire with a little bit sticking out, which is gonna be great for that extra traction. Now, as for that tension, that is gonna be up to you. Fortunately, this rubber piece will adjust a little bit as you drive around, helping make sure everything stays in place. The bag that this comes in is gonna be this soft shell bag. You are gonna get two chains with this bag. I do recommend, if possible, maybe also putting some gloves or some emergency supplies in the bag. That way it's there whenever you need it. We do have a tire chain safety installation kit if that will help you out. But other than that, again, double check your tire size. And if you're not sure if you have enough clearance, then I recommend just for safety, go ahead and step down to the Titan chain diamond alloy chains. I did do a test fit of them on this car. It's gonna be the exact same process. Those just have smaller links. I still recommend those because they'll still provide that traction for most snowy and icy situations. And if you're only carrying around tire chains for an emergency, even better. This is very easy to store in your truck bed or even underneath your seat. And you saw here, I put them on our tires so easily, so fast without having to move the truck. And that's gonna be helpful for those emergency situations. So right here, right now, you just saw the Titan Chain Diamond Alloy HD Snow Chains here on our 2024 Chevrolet Silverado 2500.